gonna keep my cool. I'm okay. <laughs> not gonna cry. Not gonna cry. I'm not gonna give it away. You guys, you better not. You better not give it away because the West Coast hasn't seen it yet. Okay. Okay, promise me that. Um, Jason, where are you? <laughs> Um, not giving anything away, just, um, just want to prepare you with some tissues. Um, whew, whew. Oh, keep it together, keep it together. <laughs> um, trying to find Jason. Jason, where are you? <laughs> uh, where, where are you, Jason? Come and save me, cause I am, I'm, I am hanging on here. I'm hanging on the thread. Jason, where are you? <laughs> Jason, 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 Jason. <laughs> Guys, help me out. Help me out. Help me out. Um, don't say anything. If you saw, if you saw it already, I love you. I am freaking out with you. I am just as emotional. And I have a lot of questions and I need some help. Okay? I need a friend. Jason, where are you? Jason, where are you? Keep it together. Keep it together. Shonda Land, you do this every single time. Jason, where? <laughs> okay, let me, one second, I'm gonna text. Okay, I'm back. No spoilers. I'm I'm trusting you. The people who haven't seen it yet are in for a ride. Um whoo, whoo. Okay, all right, here we go. Looking for Jason. Take two. You looking for Jason? I'm losing my cool here. I am losing it. All right, you know what? I'm going to wait for Jason. I'm going to talk to you, but I don't want you to say anything. I just want you... <laughs> Savannah, the, the ending is my reaction. The ending, my reaction is WTF. Amazing. Greetings from Brazil. I love you. Argentina, te quiero mucho. Um, when does season four start? I don't know, but let me tell you something. It needs to start like tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Going a little crazy here. Going crazy. Going crazy. Jason, where are you? <laughs> um, okay. All right. Well, um, he's not in the house. Jason, don't do this to me. Come on. Come on. All right. Well, um, Okay, so many questions. Please, guys, I know it's crazy. Um, uh, this is from beauty.dawn. I'm so scared. I have to watch it tomorrow morning. And actually just texted me right now that he's coming on board. Um, yes, be scared. And don't go on social media because they'll ruin it for you. So turn off your phone and watch it tomorrow because it's crazy okay whoa i can't i mean who what a finale emmy lou emmy lou diaz thank you so much you wrote an amazing episode paris barkley thank you so much you directed a beautiful episode and so hey jason george is in the house right now jason where were you where were you i waited Six minutes. Six minutes of complete torture because after you, after you see this episode, you're gonna need to talk to a friend. Okay? Waiting. He's he's coming. He's coming. Hi. Hi, Dominic Dominican Republic. What's going on? Um, we're still waiting for Jason George. He is in the house. He is coming. He is on his way. <sighs> 
<laughs> okay. <gasps> okay, I need answers. Thank you. Thank you, Munga in, in Asia, whatever your name is. I need answers too, okay? Are you ever scared before an episode goes live that people will be mad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what's going on? What's going on? Okay, hold on. Grabbing Jason one more time. Grabbing Jason one more time. I think he's coming. Um, Brazil is in the house. What's up, baby girl? What's going on? <laughs> I was about to have a nervous breakdown. Because, oh, because, yeah, because yeah, I'm slow. Because I'm because late. Because you took forever? <laughs> I'm that dude. I'm that dude. people witnessed me have an emotional breakdown? <laughs> Did you see the episode? No, I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it. Okay. I know. I you know, know what? I know. You know what, Shondaland? What's going on? What's going on? Shondaland is in the house. Jason, I don't even, I can't, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. And you guys, you better not say anything because I know the East Coast people are on here and they're no spoilers, please. But I just watched it and I like, I'm going to need a friend. I'm going to need therapy. I'm going to need someone to talk to. I'm just going to need, I need answers. Run you I out need, a little bit. Run you out I a little need, bit. It, it, it took everything out of me, but it was like, a mate, like, thank God we have a season four. <laughs> Because if we didn't, I would have, I don't know what I would have done. Yeah. Honestly. Um, you're in for a treat, seven, eight, nine, two more hours into the, into the West Coast. What's going on, Jason? Nothing. I'm just like, you know, I'm, just, I'm doing the family thing and, uh, and hold it down over here. Uh, how's everybody doing out there in Instagram world? How's everybody yeah. doing? Uh, did East Coast enjoy the show? Brazil, what, what East Coast, saying? without saying anything, did you enjoy it? I need therapy too. I need th Someone just said I need therapy too. <laughs> Can we please have like 15 seasons? Well, you know what? It may come. Yeah. Um, <laughs> dude, I mean, I, I mean, between Emmy Lou Diaz and the writing, Paris Sparkling with the directing, all the actors, you know, the crew yeah, members Paris killing it, and every department, I'm I'm blown away. I'm, I I like. I'm still shaking. I'm still that shaking. That was a hard episode to shoot. That was a hard, hard episode, episode to shoot. Full of suspense. Full of drama. And you were acting your ass off. Aww. You had to act your ass off all over. You were like the tears it. and y'all can't spoil. Yo, know, again, that's the East Coast can't be spoiling <laughs> stuff. But uh, and we, you know, because I got to get out of the, I got to get out of the scrubs and out of the PRT uniform and jump back into firefighter gear, and some turnouts, and run into a uh, a building with bombs and whatnot. Not spoiling anything because y'all already saw that. Right, 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 right. Right. Uh, it was. It was a very difficult. Um, it was an explosive episode. Let's just say that. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. I see what you did there. See that? I see what you did. <laughs> Listen. Listen ah! what, uh, what did they from Japan, not from Japan. Um, um, so, oh, my God. Japan. So What's up? Japan. I mean, I think I saw that flag. They're so small that um, my heart skipped a beat. I swear. Oh, yeah. Um, someone just guessed that. Hey, no, stop it. No spoilers <laughs> allowed here. You better not. You better not. I'm obsessed with this Don't show. Make Jane Thank you, Ashley. Don't make I Jane will, come uh, find you. I will. <laughs> um, who? This was crazy. I can't wait. Are you? Is, is the whole family gonna get together and watch it? Yeah, you know what? It's funny because Station 19 is the first. Literally, besides, like, I did a movie a million years ago that was for tweeners, you know, for kids or whatever. Uh, and my, like that got me really cool with the preschool set when they were little. This is the first show, the first adult show that they've really gotten into watching. So now yeah. they love watching Station 19. They love you. They love the whole cast. Like, Aww, they, uh, I love and they them. Get, they I love get how mad, they get it. upset about stuff. It's hilarious watching my daughter. At a certain point in time, though, I had to call her out though, especially my daughter, because she'd be like, really dad with the look, really dad with the run, Aww, really dad with the I, I was like, That's cute. I was like, I was like, am I going to have to deal with this every time we watch the show together? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, the only reason I watch the show is, you know, it's like, because they hang out yeah. with y'all. Uh, yeah. But they're cool it, about it. They it, love it. It made me miss being on set. It made me right? miss with you guys. Yeah. It made me just miss the, I mean, you know, when, when we're in it, we're like, oh, this is too much. This is a lot of work. You know, 15, 16 episodes. We're feeling the. We're feeling the grind. What, what Jane is saying is that over. our cast is a bunch of whiners. That's what Jane is trying to say, is that right. we whine a lot. Right, because, you we know, we. 
Yeah, this is true. This is true. But now that we're watching it, now that it's over, now that season three is over, it's like, I miss the fam. I miss, I miss you guys so much. I miss rehearsing and blocking and doing these scenes and improvising and like everything. But I'm going to give, give you extra dap though, because, okay, y'all don't know this, but uh, last week, Jaina organized uh, just, uh, you know, what we use, uh, what we, house party or something house like party, that? We, house we party. We all hooked up uh, online just to catch up out of the blue, which, you know, if you, if you think the friendships are fake, you think right. again because uh, right. we actually Aww. do enjoy each other's company. Right. And it was like, that was like the best time. I didn't realize what withdrawal I was in from hanging out with y'all on the regular. Oh, okay. I know. So, I know. But yeah, I love my favorite place besides being up under my kids, you know, hugging them and everything like that being on a set or a stage, sound stage or a, a theater stage is my favorite place in the world to be, period, period. Uh, I feel like I can do anything uh, on, on a stage. You know what I mean? You're gonna make me cry. I'm extra emotional because I just saw <laughs> the episode. So please, Jason, don't say sweet things well, like no, that. Just because now people got blown up? Because people got... People... No, it's just a bunch of, a bunch. Of, ah, what a great way to end the season, I mean. We had some flashbacks. We had some, oh my goodness, I don't, and I scared everyone because I posted a picture on the, on Station 19's IG and I was like, I can confirm this, but someone dies tonight and everyone went crazy. So, uh, sorry guys. I mean, it is, it's true. You just spark yourself true. off like that. Oh my God, I have, I need to get a tissue because I am like, woo! Okay, I, well, I can't wait. Well, let's answer some questions here. We got 90, we got like over a hundred questions here. Um, that they thought the show was dynamic because we're actually friends in real life. And I thought it was pretty dope. That's real. Um, um, I'm scrolling back through to see if there's any questions that y'all Right, right, right. Folks are talking about how they're crying. Uh, I couldn't sound great. Um, Wow. Okay. So wait. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. I'm just a mess. A complete mess. Um, here, here's a, here's a funny question. It's not for uh, you or me, but is but is a good question. Somebody said, "Who watches the baby while y'all are on duty?" <laughs> right. Right. So true. Because Dean got a baby. No, he's he's got a nanny. We he's Who's got a that? nanny. We haven't established the nanny yet, though. But yeah. you know what? Someone is taking care of Prue. Yeah. We we don't know. He he. He hired someone. Okay. That's the moment I'm going to go back to, by the way, just as long as we're on the baby. I usually, I'm, I'm the knucklehead and I'm old school. So I don't read scripts before we get to the table read because I like to be surprised. Yeah, right. Because that's where right. I get to enjoy the story while it's flowing and actually hearing everybody's voices. So I get to hear the story the way you guys get to enjoy the story when you watch it. Because um, I was a fan of Grey's Anatomy before I was ever on it. And I like to try and do that with shows that I'm on. So I'm sitting there, and when they when they came up with the baby's going to be named Prue, and you know, and Miguel and I had all these great scenes together where he was in the PRT with me. So that's my man. He plays your dad. He was like became Ben's kind of mentor. Uh, so when they said they're going to name the baby Prue, I was like, I got to name the baby Prue. I'm okay. I'm okay. And I'm all like getting stupid at the table read, and uh, I know. so yeah. So we, we're going to make sure Prue's taken care of. Nothing's going to happen to Prue. Yes. Our first um, firehouse baby. What's crazy is I don't think, I don't think I've ever, did you have a, no, she hasn't come to the station yet. I think she's only, um, Vic and, and Jack have only like gone over to babysit right. or and, and, right, and, right, and right, through right. it. But well, yeah. Here's, here's a question that we, uh, you know, uh, from what is it? Brittany Buckman, 13. Uh, uh -huh. When will station 19 and Grey's Anatomy return? I oh. miss it already. Um, well, we miss it too, and thank you, thank you. But uh, we actually don't have dates yet. We don't have, because as you can imagine, with COVID-19, coronavirus, shut down the pandemic, coronavirus, um, <laughs> everybody's trying to figure it out. So they're, uh, yeah. they're in the middle of figuring out how to make this work. We don't even know when we get to go back to work. Yeah. So uh, hopefully we'll be back to work by, you know, I'm hoping late August, early September, and we can start making new shows for you guys. But uh, right. The right. good news is we will be back. We I know. That's, there. I'm just, thank, thank goodness. Because I was like, after that, after that story, huge cliffhanger. Right. I was like, whoo, fans are going to be happy because there's a lot, the, there's a lot of answers that, there's a lot of questions that need, need to be answered. And yeah, new there's questions, a, just, new questions. Mm-hmm. Guys, questions. What if y'all watching, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> new questions. 
Right. I want that, answers. I want answers. This, this I got from, questions I want answers. <laughs> this is from Emma Balmaldi. Guys, what if Vic is pregnant with Jackson's baby? I just chose a random one. That was funny. Wow. I mean, look, anything wow. can happen. Well, we already know. You know what? Y'all go ahead and pitch your ideas because Chris Vernoff's out there. She's working. So y'all pitch. Pitch. <laughs> A Jackson, ba yes. a Jackson baby, little like classics posse second generation. We need generation. more babies. That'd be dope. Or we third need more babies. Um, um, do we need more babies? I don't know. I, maybe. Um, what's, <laughs> um, th this is a good question, actually, from Justin Loja. How long does the crossover also take to film? Oh, wow. That's, you know what? I mean, they take a minute because the crossovers are weird because... I mean, look, it normally takes like eight days to shoot an episode of TV, and we take extra long, so we take 10 days. Uh, right. We're like nine, nine to 10 days, something like that. And Gray's always takes 10, so we're bleeding. It's, the crossovers, y'all have no idea how crazy the producers and our assistant directors, all those people, they got to schedule. It's impossible to schedule it's our impossible. show. It's impossible. It's impossible Imagine. to schedule yep. Gray's Anatomy. And they got to figure out how to weave all that into this, Literally, yeah. how their hair's not falling out, I don't know. So it's hard. So it's somewhere between 10 and 20 days is the answer. Between yep. the two shows. Because we got to figure out when we can get actors from our show. And it was even crazier when the season first started, remember? Because uh, some of us were going over there, even though we hadn't even started airing yet. Right, so it right, was like, right. Crossovers were happening in... Complete madness. Yeah. But also, I mean, it obviously, there's a there's a giant payoff because it... It makes the show more exciting. It makes both both yeah. shows like, you know, a lot more um, more of an event. So, the funny part was that the timeline was all messed up because we started shooting around the same time, Grey's Anatomy and Station Nineteen. Do you remember this? Oh but, yeah. But our episode, our first episode, was going to air around their tenth episode. So whenever we yes. showed up on a crossover, we had to be yes. like. So where the hell are we in the store? Like, explain to you, like, what, what, what the hell's going on? I don't, like, tell me right. where we're at. Like, you got to walk me through this like I'm a five-year-old because I don't get it anymore. Um, I know, it's crazy. Wait, there's a question from um, Emily. Um, uh, Jason, how did you get started into Grey's, like, being on the show? Yeah, what, what, what season was it? Uh, and how did it happen? I came on in, like, uh, I forget, but Chandra Wilson, my TV wife, uh, knows all things and she always tells me that it was season six so i'm gonna go with her answer and say i came season on in six. Season, six. season six but wow. i did because i did a pilot for shonda rhymes that didn't go it was a dope pilot, right. dope, dope was pilot. It a... wait hold on don't tell me stop 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 in hawaii somewhere on the uh... no that was the series i did right wait oh, wait. Uh, 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 uh. <sighs> I just want to sit here and torture you with like a few hundred thousand people. Hold watching. on, I know I it. Want, I, we talked thousand, about it. Like seventeen hundred people watched. I just wanted to see you. You. This is what um, she. Was, if y'all watch Family Feud, Celebrity Family Feud, this was as bad as she was on there. Okay, she hold on. Completely... Off the grid. Off the grid. Off the map was the series. Off the I map. Ah! But inside the box was the pilot I did. They're all like three word oh. titles. But inside the box was Martin Henderson, my boy Martin, Kim Raver. Sarah Drew and me. That's how all four of us oh got introduced into the Shonda Land world doing oh. that pilot that didn't go. Wow. And then they're just like, yo, we're just going to hold on to y'all for a minute. And I went and did, Martin and I went and did off the map. Sarah came directly on to Gray's. Kim came on to Gray's not long after that, then left and then came back because, you know, oh you can goodness. when it's been on for like 16 years. Right, right. Um, but that's how I, I got in the mix. You know what I mean? What a <laughs> ride. What a ride. Um, yo. This is crazy. This is nuts. Okay, I'm gonna grab another question. Um, oh, there's just too many. I just I what? Um, oh, so sweet. This is from uh, Chloe. What shows are you watching right now? Also, I love you both so much. We love you too. Oh, thank you, Chloe. What you watching? What you watching, Jana? I'm. I binge watched uh, Ozark. I binge uh, watched Little Fires Everywhere. Uh, what else? Oh, Baker and the Beauty, because I have a couple friends on it. Yeah, so do uh, I. Not? Yeah. There, we, we listen to that. You, you know, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super cute, super cute. Show. Yeah, it's a mutual friend. I forgot. Um, Bucks, Lisa. What else am I watching that? Oh, Killing Eve. Killing Eve's my joint. 
Yeah. Sandra, Sa Sandra O oh in the house. Right? My girl Sandra, Sandra O. Oh. We've been going back. Uh, I actually, with the kids, we've been going back, and they went back and started watching Grey's Anatomy from the beginning of the season. Because uh, they, they didn't start watching Grey's until, they didn't start watching until Station 19 came on, and then they wanted Are to go you back. serious? So oh, I my think, goodness. I think we may go back and binge all of Grey's Anatomy with, uh, with my kids, like from episode one. I may go back uh, to the beginning with the kids. I don't know. We might. I love that. That's going to, yeah, it's going to take you we back. Wish. We were watching a, a dope uh, Netflix show on uh, on my block. Oh, uh, yeah, it's uh, on about, my block. It's called uh, on my block. It's uh, a teen drama, you know, with kids in South Central. Um, went back and finished Homeland. Ooh, you know, that's a good one. The season, season finale, uh, Killing Eve. You said uh, I also been going through movies. Like I was literally earlier today. I was don't tell anybody. I was I had I had a, I was I, I, I movies I love and I see a lot. I was playing the Matrix. I was on a meet. I was on a Zoom call meeting that went for like six hours because that's what I do. But uh, I had the Matrix reloaded playing in the background on silent, just like because I just like this, <laughs> I just like the action of stuff blowing up. That's amazing. Just, just a little testosterone injection while I'm in the middle of this meeting. So I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> I'm gonna argue with you because I'm gonna get me ah. on you. I'm gonna, you know, be about it. Oh my goodness. Ooh, someone just said we just binged Grace from the b beginning. Great. Oh, that's amazing. Um, All-American. Yes, All-American. And Kate, show runs that show. Uh, amazing writer. Yeah. I worked with her on, on Rosewood. Incredible. Um, Dope people on their tays over there. Um, so many. Qu what is happening? Um, eat. Oh, oh, here we go. CTV in the house. Either of you have been to Canada? I live here. Hi, Emily. <laughs> yeah, we've been to Canada. You yeah, guys actually been. went to the, like, Canadian, the, the upfronts over there, huh? Yeah. And, you yeah. and Jay. Me and Jay went. Uh, I love Vancouver. I've shot in Toronto. I shot in Vancouver. Both amazing cities. What I love most about both those cities is, like a lot of cities, they're incredibly multicultural. But yeah. what's dope is that a, mo a lot of cities have a lot of different cultures, but the cultures kind of stick to themselves. There's a lot of people actually deal with each other in those cities in a way that I don't think they do nearly as much like, you know, here in the States. Yeah. Yeah. I, w I went to Canada when I was like 16, but it's like not, an not enough to remember. So I need to, I need to revisit. Um, where did I go? Montreal, I think. I still got to get up there. How but apparently, How Station 19 is like a huge hit on CTV. Um, okay. How was Montreal when you went? I don't really remember. Um, but I, I, it was beautiful. It was quiet. A little chilly. I just know it was beautiful. Um, I had to, I performed because I was dancing salsa at the time, and I was yeah, in. Yeah, you were. I was in. I was yeah, in, you were. I was doing some competitions. Um, were you whipping that hair? Yeah, I was whipping the hair. I was whipping the hair. Um, happy birthday. I wish I had your full name, LFG1339. I love you both so much. We love you too. Uh, I just want to give them a shout out. Shout out to Costa Rica. I'm just reading comments on there and then yeah. the questions here too. Um, I see, I, so, I see one from Chile. Chile. Chile sends love. Chile in the house. What's going oh, they, on? They want me to build their tree house. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but come to Chile. We can work in a tree house together. We'll do that. <laughs> Amazing. How, uh, question from Stephanie. How long do you have a script to study before you start filming? Woo, that depends. Mm. Dana? Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, take it away. <laughs> Look, if we're lucky, we get it for like a week, something like that. If you're lucky, you got a chance that you figure out what your big speeches are that you got to like work on early. Yep. But I'm going to be real. In Shondaland? Sometimes the day before. Sometimes yes. Sometimes the day before. Yep. Sometimes the day before. Night Yo. before. I, I've, I've gotten this call. We haven't gotten this one on Station 19 yet. Over at Gray's, I've gotten this call. Hey, so your first up scene tomorrow at 6 a.m., we promise you'll have the scene by midnight. We don't know where you're going to get the script, though. We don't know where you're going to get the script. Probably the script in the, really on the day, but you'll have the scene by midnight. I'm right. supposed to get up and be at work at 6 a.m., and they're going to give you the damn scene at midnight. <laughs> That's what we do. It's crazy. And then do. we're all like so anxious and, and excited to, to, to see, you know, to know what the next episode is going to be about. So we're like, we're, we're on a high already off of pure excitement. Um, oh, y'all behind, y'all beyond the high. Y'all are like, I, like I said, I wait to the table read. Y'all become detectives. <laughs> y'all like, 
y'all like be stealing people's scripts and like <laughs> and like finding out what's happening in the script like the hair and makeup people like <laughs> oh, you know, yeah. oh, the my props God. people if anybody don't leaves their script that out around, loud, it Jason. gets picked up and stolen say what I said don't say that out loud that's our little secret we I'm saying, it's, we I'm slip it in, you know? We try to sneak it in. People, um, people steal those people's scripts. It's a crime. Will Station 19 continue even if Grey's Anatomy does a final season? That's a really good question. Um, you know, I love how I love how Station 19 compliments Grey's Anatomy. I love even more how, like, let's just say Grey's has a final ending. I feel like I feel like there's, Station 19 has this like core fundamental, like sort of, they carry, obviously, you know, we're in the same universe, but they carry that piece, that piece of their world. They just carry it and it'll last. I mean, it, for me, it's, it's everlasting. You have obviously the same creators and producers. So you're going to have the same tone. You, you're going to have the same feel. You're going to, it's it's there's a good chance there's a yeah. good chance and i and i say why not because i'm optimistic I, I look at it like my kids you know i have my oldest son who just turned 16 in the shutdown and i got my twins who turned 12 in the shutdown they're my kids but when i get them one-on-one -on -one, i go actually really dope kid like you're a dope human being oh, I love you know that. what i mean like when you when you get them one-on-one -on -one, you remember like you are really good people yeah. on your own yeah. as opposed to on mass so like even we all want, you know, I love being around my kids, but it's also really cool to just, so uh, if, first off, just know that Grey's is gonna go south when Grey's decides to go south. Like nobody's gonna right. tell Grey's to go away. Grey's Anatomy will finish. Right, when, Grey's Anatomy when they decide like to. But they, they could pass the baton, to. they could pass the baton, why not? They could just exactly. pass it along. Exactly, <laughs> and I, li I like to think that the baton will get passed. I do believe that. Yes, yes. Okay, we're gonna take one more question because people, I know you're freaking out. Um, we're just gonna answer one more question. Um, oh, this is funny. From Haley, can Warren's next job be a nanny for Prue? Wow, they just gave you another <laughs> one. Uh, how many kids can can Warren get in one season? Because I mean, look, he came home and he had a 16 year old kid, 16 year old kid hanging out of the house, 17 year old kid. Uh, so yeah, yeah, you know what? Warren can do that too. Warren can do that too. Yeah, you know I mean? that's it. I I'll take on Prue. Because I, first off, don't hand Jason George a baby, because I'll take your baby and hang out for a couple of hours. Uh, I don't <laughs> want another baby, but I love babies. I do love babies. Uh, there's no better blanket in the world than a baby lying on your chest. And actually, uh, that's, that's the best blanket that's in the world. very true. And you know what's crazy is that um, baby Prue, apparently she like cries on cue. She knows when to when to just like be cute and silent. She like she's this natural yeah. born actor, actress. Yeah. Maybe prison natural, yeah. straight up. Mm -hmm. straight up. Mm -hmm. um, oh my goodness. Okay, so I know it's getting late for some people. Um, Benjamin Warren, I love this man. You know what? Sometimes I actually call Jason Ben by accident. I'm like, Ben, <laughs> Jason, Jason. All the time, actually, I catch myself. And it's just, it's crazy because you are Ben. And what's crazy is your, your nephew is Benjamin. <laughs> His My nephew, nephew is named Benjamin George. That's Benjamin real talk. George. It's real talk. Uh, and and my <laughs> my brother named him, and it's a strong name. It's a proud name. And then we were talking, and I looked at him, and I went, "Are you afraid at all that somebody's gonna a fan of Grays is gonna?" And he just, and his face just when he went, "Damn." Right. Right. <laughs> yeah, for him, that doesn't even register. Like you know, because you you know. You probably before we ever met, you'd seen Grays, and so you you know Ben existed oh, yeah. in your world before Jason did. Right. Right. Ben practically doesn't exist in my brother's world. You know what <laughs> I mean? And not until he had you know. So Benjamin is named right. after his wife. You know they came up with names. You know some family members. That, like it's a whole separate thing. Has nothing to do with this. Right. And when I told him that, he was like, "Damn." <laughs> it was amazing. hilarious. It was fun. You know what else existed too before this that I was like, "Oh man, I see." I forgot the character's name, but you know, mistresses. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. I remember that. Oh, so yeah, you asked me a couple of questions. That was funny. That was funny. You told on yourself a little bit with that one. You asked me a couple of questions. You were like, "Y'all had some steamy scenes on mistresses." What was, what was, was that like, about? I know that was like my. I, 
my guilty pleasure for the longest. I was, and it's, I think it's still on Hulu. You can oh, watch. Oh yeah, it runs. But uh, watch it all. by the way, uh, our boy Brett Tucker was on there. I know. I was just gonna say, Brett Tucker fans. Brett was on there. All the Brett Tucker R. fans. R.I.P. Ripley. Get a little taste of him on Mistresses. Uh huh. Uh, that, but Brett and I did three different shows together. I know. Off the map. He, he came through off the map like two or three times. Mistresses. And now this amazing. I love it. All right. Well, I'm gonna let you go. I gotta handle. I gotta cook. I'm gonna make banana <laughs> bread and some dinner, and I just have to get myself together before this B West Coast from there. Banana, banana bread. bread with okay. almond flour. All right, just leave some out in a, in a just wrap it up in something, and I'll just swing by. <laughs> okay, I love it. Cause you're not that far from me now. I can do that. <laughs> right. Oh, I miss you. I'm giving you a virtual hug. I can't wait to see you. Much love, um, I can't wait for you to watch the episode. I know, I know. The kids are, uh, the kids are like, Dad, let's go, let's go. And I'm like, it's not on yet. Okay, an hour and a half, an hour and a half. I'm like, they get, they get mad at me. They like to cheat when I can, when I watch it with them on the East Coast feed. Uh, they love to cheat and get it early and be able to I mess with their it. friends. I love but it. That didn't happen tonight. So thank well, you all. You're, in, Coast you're in for a surprise. All right. Oh my gosh. I miss you. I love you. Mwah. Thank you Much guys. Love, See you soon. Okay. Bye, Jason. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>